I'll tell you one thing about Pandora Dupont. She was always seen. You can't help but be drawn in by her absolute brilliance. She wasn't like the rest of us. She shined. And it was fucking blinding. She's got a red dress with the little hues on. You haven't found my Playboys, have you, Maple? God, I'm sorry, I didn't. I just was having a look. No stress, babe. Got it whilst I was traveling through Thailand. This girl, um, Elise, no, Eliza, gave it to me at a beach rave. The mentor of our never-ending friendship. Do you want it? I couldn't. It's special. She ended up shagging the guy I was totally, exclusively not exclusive with. Take it. You sure? Yeah. Maybe you'll talk to me for a change now instead of pretending to be writing. You should really put some things up. You know, brighten up the place. I guess. I don't know, I don't really like clutter. I feel like a room shows the brain of its owner and your side represents that of a brain dead vegetable. Pandora would unplug my life support machine to charge her vibrator. Feels a bit psych ward, don't you think, Mabes? Well, I guess all of us journalists end up there after too many years in the industry. Or they start writing for the Daily Mail. Who do you see yourself writing for? I don't really care about the writing. I just want to make a change, fight for justice. I mean, I read the other day on Instagram that Ugg skins the sheep alive. How cruel. You know that was a hoax, right? Fake or not, a great story. I mean, who wants to read the truth these days anyway? So before I pop out, I noticed you haven't opened my updated allergen sheet I sent to you. I've been quite busy applying for grad jobs. Of course, of course, just, you know, no nuts of any kind, Mabes, and don't drink my oat milk or I'll kill you. Wouldn't dream of it. So, I'm off out. You doing anything tonight? Uh, I don't know, nothing much. I've got a one-to-one -one with Elliot at 9 a.m., so I'll probably turn in early. Well, maybe try and find some inspiration. You never know. The next news could be right in front of you. Pandora. My muse. My nuisance. Hmm. All this is very promising, Mabel. Mm. How long have you been writing the online column? Five years, Professor. Mm -hmm. Not that anyone reads it. Well, no one wants to know the truth these days. Unless it's ten seconds or less to uh, consume. Um, so, why journalism then in this world of the dying brain? I guess I like to people watch. I find people fascinating. <laughs> I've never had a story to tell of my own, so I guess that's why I like to write about others. I think you need more confidence in yourself. And I think you could do with this. It's an internship from a friend of mine for The Guardian for next term. And now it's cutthroat, so don't put all your eggs in one basket. This could lead to a permanent position. Tell a story of your own, Mabel. An internship? So you're not getting paid? Well, don't think I'll be sending you any money if you get it. Because I don't approve of it. My mother didn't approve of much. Cheap fags and box wine, however, did receive her golden stamp of approval. I wasn't asking for your approval. I'm being realistic. You're not one of those posh girls that can sit down, type something, call it a career? Well, I'm going to be busy for the next few days, so I'm going to go ahead and rain check the rest of this week's daily phone calls. Mabel Taylor, do not speak to your mother.
You are just so brilliant. You're fascinating. What do you do all day up here? I do things. I write. You write yet yeah, never show anyone. Come on, let me have a peek. Absolutely not, no. Nothing's ready. You smell like a brewery, Pandora. Well, I've been celebrating. I just got an email from Elliot and Mummy happened to go to uni with her. And well, she sorted me an internship for spring term. You got it. You don't even... You didn't even tell me. I needed that fucking... Mabel, shit, sorry. Just forget I said anything. I wasn't supposed to tell anybody yet. There'll be other opportunities out there for you. Unlikely. Sorry. I'm just a bit tired. What time is it anyways? Let's sober you up, eh? How about I get you some food? Yeah. You know what? What? You really should have gotten the Guardian gig. I mean, I'm leaning more towards philanthropy anyways. That's your job, right? The thing about Pandora DuPont is she had everything in the world and still wanted more. <laughs> it's a shame she has nothing now. <laughs> this, this is, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I knew you were good, but this is what I've been talking about. I knew her mother at Cambridge, you know? Such a, a bright future ahead of her, that girl. She was so full of life. She was a good nut. I can't promise anything, but I want you to clear your schedule for next term. It's right that you should get this position. Pandora would have wanted it. Mm. <laughs> How did you two meet, if you don't mind me asking? I'll tell you one thing about Pandora DuPont. She was always seen. She's got a red dress with the little heels on. Man, it is her favorite song. But when you see her, oh, you better run. Before you think that she is the one you The fan for child is on the prowl Just a little heels on Man Eater is my favorite song 